What's up guys? Marvel Future Revolution goes into soft launch today and I'm going to be showing you how to get in and play the game. Let's get into it. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get in on the soft launch for Marvel Future Revolution. Before we do that, a couple quick disclaimers. Firstly, if you only have an iOS device, so only an Apple device, only an iPhone, unfortunately, this method will not work for you. So you can probably stop watching now. I don't want to waste your time. That said, if you have a PC, regardless of what type of phone you use, you can use your PC. And of course, this method will work perfect if you have an Android phone, a Google phone, anything like that. Second disclaimer, officially, this soft launch is only for the Canada region. Now, don't worry if you're not in Canada, I'm not in Canada, but today I'm going to show you how we're all from Canada, if you think about it. And one final note on the soft launch, all progress will be carried over. There will not be any server wipes or anything. So any progress you make, any money that you spend, that is yours forever. Let's get into the method. All right, important note, steps one and two are for PC users only. You do not need to do steps one and two if you're just trying to play on a mobile device. So I will put timestamps in the video description so you can skip right to the step that you actually need to watch. So again, if you're only trying to play on a mobile device, you can skip steps one and two. Got it? Good. All right, step one, download Bluestacks 5. I've got a link to Bluestacks 5 in the video description. It should take you to a page that looks just like this. And if you're not familiar, Bluestacks is just an Android emulator. So essentially, it's just a way for your computer to pretend to be an Android phone. All right, step two is tweaking the Bluestacks settings so that it can actually handle Marvel Future Revolution. So there's actually quite a few steps within this setup. So I'm going to take you through the entire thing. So first and foremost, once you have Bluestacks installed, you'll eventually end up at a screen like this. And essentially, this is no good. The opening instance of Bluestacks 5 is going to be 32-bit, and this part is very important. Marvel Future Revolution, at least currently, only works on a 64-bit instance of Bluestacks 5. So how do we get a 64-bit instance? So, I actually have a thing right here, but you can go in the search and type Bluestacks, and you want to find here Bluestacks 5 Multi-Instance Manager. Got that here, so I'll click that. Now you can see I already made a new 64-bit instance and that's the one I have Future Revolution on, but since you guys will have not done that yet, you're essentially gonna go down here and click New Instance, Fresh Instance, and then make sure you drop from NuGet 32-bit down to NuGet 64-bit. You are creating a new 64-bit and this gives you the option here to dedicate as many CPU cores as you want. So for example, I'm gonna tell it to use eight cores. Additionally, I'm going to give it the maximum RAM, which it'll support up to four gigs of RAM. I'm going to change the resolution to be 2560 by 1440. So we got that 2K and I'm going to change the DPI up to 320. You don't have to do all of that. That's just me trying to get the most that I possibly can out of the settings in Bluestacks 5. But depending on what your PC can handle, uh, none of those settings are terribly important. But if you know what your PC can handle and you want to crank them up, you can do that right there. The only important thing here is you have to create a new instance that is 64 bit. I'll go ahead and click create and then that usually takes a second. So I'll just cut. All right, so we've got our new instance here. So I'm going to go ahead and click start you Can actually close the old one. So while that's loading, I'll close the old one here. All right, so we have a completely fresh instance of Bluestacks 5 and this is 64 bit. So there's a few things we need to do. First and foremost, you can go to Play Store here and you can log in. If you already have a Gmail account, Google account, you can go to the Play Store and log in. It doesn't matter if your account has nothing to do with Canada or anything like that. Your existing Gmail account will work just fine. If you don't have a Gmail account, you can just make one. You can make it any old throwaway account called Future Revolution Tester 95267, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Uh, once you are signed into the Play Store, so I'll do that real quick. So you'll land here and once you're logged in, you're fine. You can go ahead and clear this. And then you'll see in the top right, there's a hamburger menu. It says menu, it's the three lines horizontally. You click that and you'll see settings. If you click settings, there's a few things that we have to change here. Some of this stuff I already went over in what I was just talking about when we made the new instance, but I'm gonna go back over it just to be very thorough for anyone watching. So in the settings here, as far as performance, I've dedicated eight cores. Obviously, if you don't have eight cores, don't dedicate eight cores. You can give it as much or as little memory as you want. I crank the frame rate. I also have here enable high frame rate. Again, this is all performance stuff. So if you don't have 
a particularly new PC and you don't want to stress it out, you do not have to run it at peak performance. But if you want to get the maximum value out of the visuals of the game and you know that your PC can support it, uh, this, these are the settings I recommend. So as far as display, I went with the 2K 2560 by 1440. I went with 320 DPI, the highest DPI. As far as graphics, this is very important. You must check compatibility for the graphics engine mode. I tried this with performance mode and it was not working. You have to use compatibility. Uh, it's something about the ESL shaders that it uses, not up to date, so compatibility mode. As far as the graphics renderer, OpenGL, you have to use. Doesn't matter about the interface renderer, doesn't matter about the ASTC textures, and obviously if you can use your GPU, you want to. As far as preferences, none of that's important. One final thing that we have to touch on here, device settings. I don't know which devices do and don't work, but I do know that only some devices work. So I've set mine to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is a very, very new Galaxy. I know that one works. So if for whatever reason it's saying that your device isn't compatible at some point, you wanna go in here and change it. Again, I know that the Galaxy S20 Ultra works. It's literally the phone that I have Marvel Future Revolution installed on, but make sure that you change it to a device profile that actually works. Doesn't matter about the network provider and then save your changes and your BlueStacks is ready to go. All right, we've made it to step three. So if you're on a mobile device, you should just be jumping in with us now. And what you're gonna do is you're going to install a VPN. Now you can install the VPN if you're a PC user right on your PC, but obviously if you're only using a mobile device, then you wanna install the actual app to your device. So I'll show you what that will look like. So we'll go in the Play Store here and we're gonna search. I'm just gonna use NordVPN. There are a ton of VPNs. It does not matter which you use. I don't have a ton of experience with all the different ones, but I can tell you NordVPN, if I'm not mistaken, does like a one week free trial. So you can at least check it out and get into the game and then decide from there. Uh, I know that some VPNs are free, but any VPN will do. I happen to already use NordVPN, so piece of cake. All right, once you've got NordVPN installed, obviously, if you haven't used it before, go ahead and make an account, get your free trial set up, and it should look like this. So once you've signed in, you'll see in the top left here, VPN not connected, and you can just scroll down. You can also use the search and see recent connections, Canada. But yeah, you just scroll down, you're looking for Canada, and you click it, and it'll say connecting to, and as soon as you're connected, it'll pop up here. It is searching for the best server. There it is, connected to Canada, number 1344. And essentially what that's doing is rerouting your internet through Canada so that any app thinks you're connecting from Canada. That's all. Right, once that's done, you can minimize it. That just needs to hang out in the background. The next step is you wanna download the APK Pure app. However, this will not be found in the Play Store because essentially it is a competing Play Store. So you're gonna go in the system apps here and use the Chrome web browser. And I'll show you how to do this here. And you can just search for APK Pure, just like this, go to their site. And then you'll see a banner like this using APK Pure app, click download. And then this button right here, download. And that's an ad, it's the ad in the top left. So we'll close that, I'm just waiting, there it is. And that is a .apk file, which is a Android package something. And that is what we're looking for. So you can see up at the top that is downloading. All right, it is complete. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna click it. It's gonna ask if we wanna install. Yes, we do wanna install. APK Pure is a good way to find and install apps. So it says done and we'll go ahead and open it. And now we have the APK Pure app open. We do wanna allow it to access that stuff and we do wanna allow it to make calls. Not that you're ever gonna use it for making calls. And then within here, you can search for Marvel Future Revolution. I'll search, and there it is right there, and you'll click Install, Added to Download List, and you can see there's a percentage bar. It is currently installing. All right, when your download completes, you'll see this. Do you want to install this application? Click Install, and there it is. And we are done. Go ahead and click Open. And welcome to Marvel Future Revolution should look like this.
So this will allow you to start downloading all of the game assets and everything, and it is a pretty hefty download, so I would get started on that right away. The servers will go live as soon as it becomes June 30th Eastern Time at midnight, which is 9 p.m. Pacific Time, June 29th. So I will be streaming Marvel Future Revolution as soon as I am able to, and I hope to see you guys there. I'll be live at twitch.tv slash casino. All right, so that is all I've got for you guys today. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please be sure to like, subscribe, and join the revolution, and I will see you guys real soon. Until next time. Peace! The revolution has begun.